to care. <laughs> okay, hi. <laughs> My name is Lola, and I used to do makeup videos when I was in middle school, and now I am a junior in high school, and um, I kind of missed it, and I kind of missed doing makeup because I stopped for like two years. But I started getting back into makeup recently, and my mom also does YouTube, She's doing it together. Kind of. Today I am going to be doing a butterfly inspired makeup look and I am really excited I haven't done this before so let's see where this goes. <laughs> My mirror is like right underneath the camera. That's why I'm looking down. Um, I already washed and moisturized. I already washed and moisturized my skin so I'm going in with the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser Primer. That is very important. So now that I primed my face, I'm going to be priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Okay, so now that everything is primed, I'm going to be doing my eyebrows first. So then, like, they're done, then I won't really have to, like, go around the eyeshadow while I do it. For eyebrows, I am using the Precisely My Brow Pencil in 3.75. So now that my eyebrows are done, I'm just going to be concealing them with the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover in the shade M100 Golden. And then I'm using this MAC 212 SE flat brush to conceal my eyebrows. I'm going to set my eyes so they don't crease, and I'm just going to be using the Hourglass um, Veil Translucent Setting Powder. So I am taking the Naked Urban Decay Palette, and I'm going to be using called Low Blow. What I want to do is like a monarch butterfly so I'm gonna put like the, the orange like on the outside crease more and then work my way into the yellow so now I'm going to be using this orange right here from the James Charles palette packing this all over the outside portion right here Before we add the yellow, I'm going to blend and I'm using this Morphe R40 blending brush. Now I'm taking this Sigma blending E25 brush and I'm going in with this yellow shade right here. I'm just grabbing the same orange shade and blending the two colors together. Um, I'm going to start the eyeliner so that I can do the white and then go up from there. So I have these two 
NYX eyeliners. This one is white and this one is black. And they're pretty much the same, they're just different colors. And so I'm going to be going in with the black first and outlining the wing. So um, I had a little bit of a breakdown and uh, I'm okay and it looks alright. This is a little bit of a black spot but we're going to go over this with black anyway so it's fine. And then I'm going to do my face makeup now so that I can finish like out here. For foundation I'm going to be using the Born This Way in Light Beige. I need <laughs> something to wipe my mouth off with. So for concealer and like a like up by the wings, I'm using the same CoverGirl concealer in M100 Golden, and I'm just putting this under my eyes, and then underneath the wing, but like not on top of it, so that I can like move up, you know. And then a little bit on my nose, chin, and forehead. Go oh, in first over here with the Morphe sponge. So, and though you went got down, we know that they need. Let me get this. Oh, I've been broke so many times, I don't know what to for powder, I'm going in with the same Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder and just bake it. So I'm going to take this Morphe M530 brush and just put the rest of the translucent powder all over. Um, I'm also going to use this brush to bronze, but just to like make sure the bronzer doesn't stick to any spots. I'm just going to set this really fast and on my forehead. For bronzer, I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil with the same Morphe M530 brush. So for blush, I'm taking this blush and it's called Love Joy from NARS. Now that like my face is done, I'm gonna finish my eyes. I'm not gonna do highlighter yet because it's gonna go like right there, obviously, and then I don't really want to like mess up the eyes. And then I'm gonna finish the inside and add the white dots. So I'm a bit nervous, but it's okay. I'll just come back when I'm done with it. Okay, so I haven't finished this eye yet, but I did do like some of the bottom. I just wanted to show you guys before I did this eye. I still don't know really what I want to do inside. I don't know, but. I just want to show you guys what I was doing so far because it's really hard to record the eyeliner because I'm like so close to the mirror. So I'm going to do this eye and then um, I might do like the insides before I come back but I'll let you know. You're going to do I know. I'm not, I don't like, I'm not recording this part. I can't breathe when I do it. <laughs> Look at me. Your skin looks good. Thank you. What are these little guys? Whoa. The quality's pretty decent. Okay, guys. So, I finished the butterflies. I don't know what we think. I've never done this before. I think it looks okay. This eye looks like not that great, but this eye looks better. Um, I'm gonna put some lashes on right now and then we're done. I'm going to be using this L'Oreal Infallible like eye liner and I'm gonna be putting this inside and on the bottom.
So for mascara, I'm going to be using it, the Benefit Roller Lash. Now for lips, I'm going to use this Huda Beauty lipstick in the shade Venus. Okay guys, this is the final look. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. This is the end of the video. It took a really long time. I really did not think I was going to be able to do it. I really didn't think it was going to turn out like this, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in 